In this exercise, we're going to be discussing patterning components. Let's get started. First off, I'm going to flip my battery box over here to the bottom. This is the battery pack.iam assembly drawing. I'm going to come up and I'm going to select pattern components. I'm going to select my bolt. Under feature set, I'm going to select this arrow. And you can see it patterned this one side of the bolts. What that patterned on and what I was actually selecting was the pattern inside of this case that was used to create these holes. So it was these two holes patterned up in this one direction. And you'll notice that it only did the one side. Hit OK there. Go back to pattern. You can actually select the pattern. Go to rectangular. Select my column. And type in 3.875. And it'll pattern it over. I did that to show you that you can pattern a pattern. In real life, I would have either put in two bolts to start with and pattern those, or I would have just done a X and Y pattern. What's an X and Y pattern? Let's take a look. Turn off the visibility on the lid by right-clicking on it in the browser and selecting visibility. Let's do an X and Y pattern. Say pattern, rectangular. It's asking me for my component. Come in, I select the battery. I'm going to select the column. When I go up this way, and I need three batteries, and I need them to be spaced so that they evenly fit in these spaces here. But I don't know what that space is. Now I could calculate it by hand. I could go back to my original sketch. I could do a lot of hard work. But let's face it, we do CAD because it's easy. We're lazy. We don't want to have to do things. We let the computer do it for us. Come up here. We select this little arrow, and we say measure. What I can do is, I selected the center point at the top of that radius. I can come over and select that exact same point up here, and then that will tell me what that space needs to be. You can see it perfectly spaced my batteries. So now I can say row, come over here. Uh oh, went off into outer space. All I have to do is click the flip, and it'll go in the other direction. And once again, I don't know what that space is, so I can just say measure. Select the top of that radius. Just make sure I get the exact same one. It really doesn't matter what radius I pick. As long as I pick the same one, it's going to evenly space them based on that. So as long as it's a like point. I didn't even have to pick the center. I could have came in here and picked like this corner here and picked the same corner over here. But I knew the centers were going to be exact. This edge here may be a little bit different than this edge over here, but the center is going to be the center is going to be the center. So that allows me to get my spacing in there. Say OK. So now I have my battery pack. Turn my lid back on, and my battery's good to go. Next time you fly, be assured that your batteries are going to work in your plane. Hit save. OK. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to look at the last pattern option. Say pattern. This time I'm going to say circular pattern. I'm going to come in here and select this bolt. I'm going to select some kind of circular reference. Then I need to come in here and tell it, okay, there's six holes, and then I gotta give them a space. That's six holes at 90. These, I believe, are 60 degrees apart. And what I'm actually giving it is not the total occurrences around a circle like we have in the pattern features, but I'm giving you the distance in between these. So these are 60 degrees apart. We know that because if you take 360 and you divide it by six, you get 60 degrees. But you can see that you can play with it. You can get different occurrences. To be honest with you, I don't use the circular pattern very often at all. Because most of the time I'll do that with the feature. And whenever you place the bolts in there, it'll automatically follow that feature pattern and do it for you. But the rectangular patterns, I do those a lot. I try to do those whenever possible. And then just like where I did the pattern inside of a pattern, I try to do that whenever possible as well. I try to keep it simple. And that kind of groups things. I like to think of the patterning like folders. Because we're not actually recreating new files here. We're just reusing the existing files. So every time I put a pattern in there, I'm reusing that exact same file over and over again. Inventor doesn't look at this as eight bolts. It looks at it as one bolt in here eight times. So think about it like that. Play with the patterning a little bit and see in your designs what you can do to reuse the actual bolts, nuts. Those are the easy ones. You may even have some kind of little part that you use over and over again that's repeated. Try to use the pattern to create that 
it gives you a nice little folder to keep everything nice and simple. Have fun with it, play with the battery pack a little bit, and see what you can do.